A tiny village in the country's north coast is described by its muddy pathways through a densely populated settlement area. But that is not the only description that makes this village well known to most coast residents. The path through this village is one that leads to a well-known drug den where both young and old walk through to get that much-needed fix. I really feel nice. It seems like I'm in heaven because I feel very, very nice. A day's fix found under such disturbing circumstances. Shared needles or dirty needles whose definition of clean is this. Running them through such dirty water or worse. This what describes drug abuse in the coast region, said to have the highest number of drug addicts in the country, 26,667. The relation between sharing of needles and the spread of HIV and AIDS, what has continued to raise alarm bells, already 30% of HIV infections result from such injections and one in every five people who inject themselves with such drugs live with HIV and AIDS. Statistics that have now seen the government in conjunction with the National Agency for the Campaign Against Drugs, NACADA, adopt a drastic program that will see them purchase 8 million syringes to be distributed to over 46,000 people addicted to drugs. Advocators of this program refer to it as harm reduction, distributing needles and or syringes to drug users with the aim of reducing the rate at which they share needles amongst themselves and in essence reducing the rate of HIV and AIDS infection among drug users. And while this program may work on one end, the other end that is being questioned is could they, in essence, also be promoting drug use by distributing syringes to drug users? It is a concern I raise with the chairman of NACADA, Dr. Frank Njenga, even as the distribution of such syringes continues since its launch Monday. The thing about normal human beings like you, yes, is that you think logically. Well, a drug addict doesn't think logically, no. He has only one thought when he wakes up in the morning, and when he's going to bed, he has only one thought. How do I get my next fix? He has no other thought. One would argue that you're using the needles as bait uh, because more, more people will come for that, for, for the syringes themselves. Uh, is that the only essence behind the program? Because most people will just take the syringes and, and go back home and continue using them for drugs. I respect you deeply for that, uh, assuming that it's a bait. I will respect that. But I would like you to understand that it's an entry point. It's a key that opens the door to good health and prosperity, we hope, for these very unfortunate Kenyans. Because when they come to us, we don't just dish out needles and syringes and tell them, go back to the streets and do your thing. No, 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 no. It's a formal evaluation and examination. They are entered in a register. We take their medical details. We examine them. We find out if they want whether they have uh, any infection. It is a discussion that continues to elicit various reactions. In Malindi, where drug use has also been fought in vain, the conversation varies from one to the next. Sirikali kusema ita tupatia sisi sindano, mashirika ita tupatia sisi sindano, itakuwa ni vibaya sana, itakuwa inachangia mpaka wale wakubwa wapawa wanaudili na hii mambo ya madrugs wapate nguvu. Sasa ni mingi ningeonelea sirikali itusaidie, itutaftia kama ni rehabu. Jambu kama hili kwa hakika hatu talikubali kabisa, tutalipinga kwa sababu itakuwa inapoza juhudi zetu za kupambana na madawa kama haya. Pindi unapopinga hii program unafanya makosa kwa sababu huji kama mtoto wa dadaku yuko mahali fulani dakika kama hii anashia sindano na mtu. Ni vizuri tuelewe kabla hatujapinga jambu fulani. It is a program set to go on for the next year. The biggest challenge for the government to properly educate Kenyans on the program's purpose so that it moves away from perception and into an applicable and accepted reality. Evelyn Wambui, Citizen Live at 9.